Well, howdy everyone! My name is Laura and I'm the host of SBP Kids Online Church where we like to sing and pray and have fun while we hear God's Word and we learn about how awesome it is to live a life following Jesus. I am so glad that you are here with us today and if you're here that means you're a friend. You can be a friend whether you're a little kid, a big kid, or a kid at heart. And since we're all friends here, we should know each other's names. So why don't you go ahead and tell me your name right now. Welcome to our series called On the Farm. In this series, we're going to have fun on the farm, learning all about the good things that God grows in our hearts through the Holy Spirit when we follow Jesus. These good things are called the fruits of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. to hang out with you today and waiting for this took patience. Patience is another fruit of the Spirit and it's the one we're talking about today. Waiting isn't always easy but God can help us grow patience as we wait with a happy heart. That is what we're going to be learning about today. Can you say this after me? I can have patience. In just a minute, we'll head down to the farm to see what's going on. But first, I have a question for you. If you could have any farm animal as a pet, which animal would you choose? That's a toughie. I think I would choose a horse because you get to ride on that farm animal. You know, training an animal takes time and it takes patience. And I think you've been patient enough. Let's head down to the farm together. Count down from 10 with me. 10. My name is Olive, and I'm so happy to have y'all join us on the farm. My job is to help Farmer Fred with daily chores. Say, would y'all like to help me out here on the farm today? Yeah! Hooey! This is going to be a fun and dandy day. To help out on the farm, you'll need to get dressed. First, you'll need some good boots to protect your feet from all the muck and mud around the farm. Everybody stomp your feet to put on your boots. There you go. Those boots are looking mighty fine. Okay. Now you need a big old hat to keep your face shaded from the bright, hot sun. Everybody reach up high, grab your hat, and put it on your head. Y'all look as perfect as a peach. Now that you're ready for a day on the farm, get on your feet and let's sing a song. Time. 
won't cost a dime. Hey, let's go. Clap your hands. Toe tapping, head nodding, banjo strumming, rooster crowing, do si do, big feet, garden weeding, tractor steering, field clearing, turning, turning, clapping, snapping, spinning, grinning. Hey, let's go! That was so much fun. Go ahead and take a seat right there where you are. Here on the farm, one of my chores is to help take care of the animals. Do you want to meet some of them? Yeah. Well, alrighty then. This here is Daisy. She's our donkey that looks after all the animals in the pasture. Farm friends, what does a donkey say? Hee-haw! Yes siree! And this here is Pinky the pig. Farm friends, what does a pig say? Oink oink! You know it! And I can't forget about the happiest animal here on the farm. My horse Harley! Farm friends, what does a horse say? Nay! That's right! Looking after all the animals is a big part of helping out on the farm. But another chore I love to do is help take care of the crops, making sure they grow to be delicious. If you're gonna help out around here, I need to tell you about the two farm rules. The first rule is to be kind. Let me hear you say that after me. Be kind. Be kind. Good job, farm friends. We can be kind by being quiet so we don't scare any of the animals. Now. The second farm role is to be safe. Let me hear you say that after me. Be safe. Be safe. You got it. You can be safe by keeping your hands close by your side and by sitting down on the ground so all of our farm friends can see. Now that you know the rules, it's time to get started on our chores. Farmer Fred always writes his chores for us on our chore board. Hmm, let's see what he wants us to do today. Clean the horseshoes. We could totally do that. This chore isn't so bad. I know that Harley and all the other horses will be so happy to have clean shoes. Farmer Fred told me that once I finish my chores, he'll take me to get a treat from the store. Ooh wee, I can't wait. I wonder if it will be popcorn or ice cream or that sour candy I just love. But it's gonna take so long to finish my chores. Oh, I just want Farmer Fred to take me to get a treat right now. Speaking of Farmer Fred, it looks like he's coming this way. Let's get ready to listen to the exciting things he's got to say by clicking on our listening ears like this. Click, click, click. Good job. Now let's get our special eyes on so we don't miss anything Farmer Fred shows us. Do it with me. Zoop, zoop. zoop. Perfect. Let's all wave and say, howdy Farmer Fred. Howdy Farmer Fred. Howdy there Farm Friends. I'm just giddy that you're all here to help out on the farm. I heard y'all while I was inside the barn, and I'm so glad that you were excited to go to the store for that special treat. I know y'all can be patient and wait with a happy heart until your chores are finished. Now speaking of being patient, I've got a story from the Bible to share with you. Long, long ago, the world was full of people who did not love God. In fact, there was a time when no one loved and followed God except one man. Let me see you hold up one finger, farm friends. Good job. Now, the man's name was Noah. God told Noah about his plan to start over on earth. God told Noah to build an ark, which is like a giant boat. So Noah and his family got to work building the ark. Let me see you pretend to hammer like you're working on the boat. That's it. Now, when the ark was all finished, God told Noah to get his family onto the giant boat. He also told Noah to let two of every kind of animal come on board. So Noah waited with a happy heart while animals came from near and far to get on the ark. Then God made it rain. Can you pat your legs to make it sound like it's raining? Good job! Noah, his family, and all of the animals were patient on the ark while it rained and rained for 40 days. Then the whole earth was covered with water and they couldn't get out of the boat. So they waited with happy hearts again for more than 100 days until some of the water was dried up. Finally, the ark came to rest on top of a mountain. God told Noah it was time to come out of the ark. 
On that day, God put a rainbow in the sky and made a promise to Noah and to all of us. God promised to take care of us and never flood the whole earth again. Noah had patience as he waited with a happy heart for the ark to be built, for all the animals to get on board, for the rain to stop, and for the flood waters to dry. And God gave Noah good things because he was patient. God wants to give you good things too when you wait with a happy heart. Everybody say this after me. I can. I can. Have patience. Have patience. Yep. Now y'all hurry along and finish all your chores so we can head on to the store for that special treat. So long. You know what? Farmer Fred is right. If Noah could be happy while he waited for all those things, I can be happy while I wait for Farmer Fred to take me to the store. I can have patience. These horseshoes are really dirty, so I'm gonna head to the barn and wash them with a the hose. You guys sit tight and cheer on your favorite tractor as they race to the watermelon patch. Since our next chore is to water the watermelons, I'll meet y'all there. See you in a bit. Howdy, y'all. Get ready for the tractor race. Pick the color of the tractor you think is fastest. Tractors, start your engines. I sure was ready to go get my treat, but I waited with a happy heart and got those horseshoes all cleaned up. And I heard you guys cheering on your favorite tractor. It sounded like you had happy hearts too. Now that I've cleaned the horseshoes, our first chore is done. Farm friends, help me check it off the list. Now it's time to water the watermelon patch. These plants have been out here in the hot sun all day, and I'm sure they could use a nice cold drink of water. And I have an idea. Let's play a game to see how much we learned on the farm today. I'm gonna ask you a question, and if you get it right, you can help me water one patch of watermelon. Are y'all ready? Yeah! Okie dokie, in today's Bible story, what did Noah build? A rocket or an ark? An ark! You betcha. Noah waited with a happy heart as he built the giant boat that God told him to build. Now everyone hold up your watering cans like this and then we just tip it like this. Well, looky there, yummy watermelon right before our very eyes. Okay, let's keep going. Farm friends, while Noah was waiting for the rain to stop and the flood water to dry up, did he have a mad heart or a happy heart? Happy heart! Right again. Noah had to wait a long time inside that big boat with lots of smelly, noisy animals but he had patience and waited with a happy heart. Now we can water the next patch of watermelon. Farm friends, put up your watering cans again and tip them like this. Ooh, doggy, look at those watermelon. Alrighty, here's one last question for you. Does God want you and me to have patience like Noah and wait with a happy heart too? Yes. You betcha. Sometimes it's hard to wait, like when you really want a cookie, but you have to wait until after dinner. Or maybe you want to play outside, but it's storming. Whenever you have to wait on something, you can be like Noah and have patience. Now we better water our last patch of watermelon. Let's all hold up our watering cans one more time and tip them like this. Those watermelons look delicious. Now we can check that chore right off our list. Farm friends, help me check it off. Looky there, we did it. And I can't wait until Farmer Fred sees these beautiful watermelons. He's gonna be so proud. Hey, there's Farmer Fred now. Let's all wave and say, howdy Farmer Fred. Howdy Farmer Fred. 
Howdy there, farm friends. Y'all have done real well with your chores today. I'm so proud to see all that's growing out here in the fields and in your hearts. There's a song we sing here on the farm about all the good things God grows in our hearts. Hey kids, why don't y'all stand up and sing it together? down on the ground. Phew, this sure has been a busy day of chores and fun on the farm. Now, before you leave, I wanna make sure we can remember what Farmer Fred taught us from the Bible. God wants you and me to have patience, just like Noah. When we wait with a happy heart, the Holy Spirit will grow the fruit of patience in our hearts. So, let me hear you say that after me. I can. I can. Have patience. Have patience. Great job, farm friends. I hope you will come back and join me on the farm next week. Bye now! Wow, what a great day on the farm! When we talk about the fruit of the Spirit, we're not talking about oranges or bananas or apples or pears. Instead, the fruit is all the good things that the Holy Spirit produces in our lives once we choose to follow Jesus. We've learned that the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, and today we added patience to it. There are many times when it's hard to be patient, right? But with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can show patience by waiting with a happy heart. And that's what we need to know today. I can have patience. There's a verse in the Bible that helps us remember each of the fruit of the Spirit. Well, we're gonna add a new fruit to it each week as we learn it. So let's practice it. Can you repeat after me? Here we go. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Nice work. Hey, do you think you could do it while galloping like a horse? Oh, let's try it. I don't know if I could do the actions while galloping. I can try though. Here we go. Are you ready to gallop? Okay, ready? Here we go. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. <laughs> Love, joy, peace, patience. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. It was really hard for me to coordinate my galloping and my actions and remembering the words. Whoa, but we did it. Good job. Keep practicing it this week and next week we'll add another one to it. 
Hey, did you know that SBP Kids Live is happening every Sunday morning at St. Benedict Parish at 9 a.m. for elementary age kids? Why not join us? Come to church and anyone who's in primary to grade five, six, four, whatever you want, can come and join us a Sunday morning downstairs. We have a lot of fun. We're doing the same stuff we're doing here on the videos. So if you miss it, you can always come back and watch our videos, but I hope to hang out with you soon. And for older elementary kids, we're back with the encounter on Wednesday nights. This is for grades four to six. You can find out all about it and all the fun we're going to have by going to stbenedict.ca slash youth and scrolling down to find the encounter section and register there. And guess what, families? You can keep talking about all these truths we've learned today at SVP Kids Online Church in your home this week by getting some resources in your email from our newsletter called the SBP Kids Scoop. To get it, just go to stbenedict.ca slash sbpkids and sign up for the Scoop newsletter there. Then keep this conversation going. In that email, you'll also find the link to the other SBP Kids video that we put out every week. The On the Farm series has a video for elementary kids and for preschoolers, which means double the fun for your family. You can find the SBP Kids series and all of our past series by going to youtube.com slash thinkbp. Subscribe so you never miss the fun. All right, pals, I'm about to giddy on up out of here, but saddle up for next week to hear more about the Holy Spirit can help us live our lives. See ya!